Hey everybody, Dave Basulto, FilmmakingCentral.com. We are in Premiere Pro CS5, the wonderful new product from Adobe, 64-bit uh, technology, uh, able to use multi-core, uh, multi-processors, uh, take advantage of the CUDA card technology. Uh, it's absolutely blazing fast with the new Mercury engine. So if you're new to Premiere, this is the place to be. We're going to take you through how to get up and running very quickly. So once you start Premiere, it's going to come to this splash screen. And you're going to, of course, choose a new project. So click on New Project. You also have the option to open your projects here. And there's Help. Uh, so click on New Project. In the New Project area, you're going to have options here uh, for action and title safe areas. These are different percentages you may want. Video time code, uh, how you're going to display it, time code, feet and frames, uh, or just frames. Uh, audio samples or milliseconds. Uh, you can capture an HDV or DV. And of course, down here it talks about the Mercury engine is the renderer. Uh, one thing you should do down here is choose a place to uh, save your project at, and uh, you're able to do that. I have it on one of my third drives, so you can held it uh, anywhere. And then go into uh, the title here and type in whatever you'd like. Um, new video. And uh, one thing here is I would just leave all these uh, with the exception of the capture format. Uh, the rest of them you can leave as default. You never really need to change them unless you're working in film and you need to have feet and frames, etc. Uh, scratch disk should be the, either the same as the project if you have plenty of room on them on the hard drive, or you can change them to a hard drive that will be big enough. Um, so you have options to change all that there. And then uh, if you when you click OK, oh, I already have something called that, so uh, let me change this to 1. Next you're going to come to a screen where there's some really cool new things at. This is the settings uh, for your new sequence scene. Um, allows you to set your sequences how you're going to cut. So if you're going to make your film uh, or your project in, say, DV and TSC, because you're going to go out to DVD eventually, um, you can edit all into that format and uh, down-res um, your videos, meaning resize them. But you have a lot of uh, opportunities here for different things. And new to uh, CS5 is something tremendous, which is uh, the ability to add uh, Canon DSLR footage natively. And this is the preset for the 1080 uh, P, 24 frames per second video. As you can see here, it's for Canon. So you have options for all different, uh, 1080, uh, 480, and 720. Also new to this version is Red Cam. So you're able to uh, edit Red Cam. So if you've got a red camera, RD3, R3D files, uh, you have your 1080, which is tiny for it, all the way up to 4.5K. And it works. The beauty of this, and I will show you in a later video, is you can work in a DV and TSC timeline in a sequence, uh, bring in just DV footage, but also bring in Canon footage, uh, bring in red files, um, XD cam, any of that will work together. They, they do not need to be pre-rendered or anything. It's the beauty of the Mercury engine. Uh, next tab here, you have your general information. Um, we're editing in DSLR type video. Uh, and here's all the information you can change to, uh, once again, to frames per second, etc. Audio, video, and you can create your own presets. You can also go into tracks. Uh, choose three. So the default is three tracks of audio, three tracks of uh, video, and you can add more if you'd like, and create your own presets once again. So once you're done with that, you just cl click OK. It'll open up Premiere, and this is the Premiere Pro uh, timeline. So let's start from left to right. We've got um, your project panel where we're going to import uh, video footage or audio or Photoshop files, graphics, whatever you want. This is where it's all going to be. We're going to go over this in the next uh, video. Resource Central is a great little place to find information. Next to it is the project panel. I'm sorry, the source panel, uh, where we're going to 
put our clips that need to be cut in here. We're gonna do all our cutting in here. Also in here is the effects panel, the audio mixer, and metadata. Next to that is the program monitor where we're gonna have our video that is being edited in the timeline. Below the program monitor is our timeline. This is where all our sequences are gonna be. We're gonna put our footage in here. As you can see, we have our three tracks, as I said earlier, and a master track for audio. Um, and this is the uh, current time indicator. We can add markers. We're gonna go through all of this in the next videos to come. Going uh, to the next panel here is the media browser where we can find media that we're looking for. Searching our uh, home directory or wherever you'd like, we can find whatever we need. This is the info panel. It tells us about what our uh, project is all about. The effects panel where we can find uh, audio, video, transitions, and effects. 32-bit uh, and new is 64-bit. Uh, so we have options here as well. Um, and then the history panel where we can see what we've been doing and retract our steps. So it's all fantastic. Going back quickly to the project panel down below here is where we create new bins. So we want to create a bin like that and type in video. That's where we can put all our video. It's very important to keep folders so you can be organized. Next to it is uh, our new button where we want to create a new sequence, a new offline file, a new title, bars and tones, and we're going to do all this in a future video. So this is the Premiere Pro uh, CS5 uh, um, uh, user interface. I'm sorry, over here on the far right is our master audio meters. We can see if our audio and our timeline is peaking or not, and we can work on that. And uh, up on the top left, it used to be down here, is the uh, ability to, are all the tools. So we've got the uh, razor tool, zoom tool, et cetera, selection tool. Also, all of these are highly customizable. If you want to, if you want your uh, user interface to be like this, um, you can do that. You can also break these off by click here and anywhere that it goes, we'll create a new, here's our new area here. And if you get a little too happy doing this and you think you screwed everything up, you can go into window, workspace, reset current workspace, and it'll take you back to the way it was. Uh, looking at that really briefly, we've got an audio workspace. So if you click on that, it'll have all your audio mixers here where you can mix your audio. Uh, color correcting workspace. So here, when the left-hand side would be all your effects where you can do color correcting. Uh, here down below is a reference monitor. And we'll get into all of that as well. Uh, editing effects and meta logging. So if you're doing a lot of meta, uh, information. You can do all that here. Metadata. And let's go back to editing. And that's it for this first lesson. I uh, just wanted to get you up and going and showing you how the whole UI works and what they're all about. And we'll get into some more stuff, importing footage in the next lesson. Okay, thank you.